All right, Libra, let's do a reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is, let's see, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Libra, please. Let's see, the person on Libra's mind, what is their next move? The person most on Libra's mind right now, when they click on this video, what is their next move? What is their next move? What is their next move? Four cards. The Chariot could be dealing with the Cancerian. Uh, someone here is possibly thinking about travel, making some type of, oh my gosh, forward positive movement. <laughs> that card was like stuck to the floor. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Two of Swords. Hmm. Okay. Someone here is definitely taking action, moving forward, traveling. Two of Swords, though. Someone here... Let's keep going. All right. Six of Swords, yeah. Someone here is definitely, like, traveling, moving, um, relocating moving away to calmer waters, taking action, and this may be unexpected or someone here could also have rose colored glasses on or someone here is like, I'm almost wondering if someone's like in denial or someone's not seeing the truth of a situation or. Okay, show me the chariot please for Libra's person's next action. The nine of coins in the reverse. Hmm. And a coin's in the reverse. This could be someone who's like, I don't know if this person is codependent. This person could have like some type of financial issues. This person may not even be single. I don't know. Show me the Knight of Wands. I mean, did I just say Knight of Wands? King of Wands. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. And look what fucking card comes out. The Knight of Wands. <laughs> I literally called that one, didn't I? So heavy Aries Leo or Sag. Someone here is definitely going, taking action and going towards something that they're passionate about. This could even be like, this could be someone who travels a lot with the chariot, the six of swords, like maybe this person works in transportation. I don't even see nine of pentacles though. Ugh. Okay, show me the two of swords. Because this person is definitely moving very passionately, traveling very passionately, eight of wands in the full card. Someone's about to take some type of risk to take some type of action and someone doesn't see it coming or someone here has rose colored glasses on like they're not looking before they do so. They're not like. Someone here is not really like thinking before they take action. Someone's just doing it. Show me the six of swords. There's a lot of red here. Five of coins. Damn. Someone's... What the hell, Libra? Is someone, like, departing? Impulsively departing? Leaving something out in the cold? Taking some type of risk? Making some type of very quick, impulsive, rec uh, okay, reckless action? What's this nine of coins in the reverse? Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person's uh, doing something very sneaky. 
they may even be like lying or like not telling the truth, not giving the whole truth here. I don't know. Nine of Pentacles. This could be someone who's like involved or they're just codependent. What's the, I don't know. This could be someone who has like financial issues. They're lying about their financial status. They've been planning something for a while. This person's doing something sneaky. And this is someone who's very passionate, very attractive, very good looking. They may have fire and air in their chart. Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I don't see any love here. So I don't know if you're dealing with a friend or a family member or a brother or a cousin, uncle, aunt. I don't know, but. Someone here has been planning. On making some type of offer. And they're just going for it. But they're doing it in a sneaky, deceptive way. They're definitely moving away from a situation, leaving something out in the cold. This is someone who's like doing something without thinking it through. How is Libra involved? Who is Libra to this person? The King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Who is Libra to this person? Oh, damn. King to the Queen of Swords, y'all. So is this someone you're like divorced or separated from? There's no love here. This is like something that looks good on paper. This is two very intelligent people though. Y'all may even work in the justice system or just like, I don't know. So what's up with this King of Swords? This may be someone who you're separated from. Judgment. Scorpio. up with this king of swords this person may be deciding to reconcile with the taurus virgo capricorn or this person may be in a commitment or i don't know show me this queen of swords what's up with her the moon pisces cancer five of cups someone here is feeling sad or fearing some type of emotional loss is this someone who you were intimately like or romantically involved with, but someone's like walking away? Someone's fearing some type of sadness or someone's crying over spilled milk over some type of secret or something that was hidden. I don't know how you were involved with this person. Is this like an ex of yours? Or someone that you were married to but divorced from. If you're dealing with the masculine, this person's going to reconcile with someone else. Someone who's stable financially. A good mom, a good parent, a good spouse. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or someone who's just, you know, abundant, I guess. You may be fearing this or sad about this if you're the feminine. Because this is someone who you were involved with. But you guys may be separated. This person's detaching. They're walking away. Or you're walking away. I don't know who, whatever. Someone may not be, be completely legally separated as well. Here in this situation. But someone's moving towards something else. What is this person going towards? What is this person going towards? Where are they going? Where are they going? Where are they going?
Where are they going? Where are they sneaking off to? The Princess of Coins. Where are they going? Where are they sneaking off to, Spirit? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy again. Maybe someone who they share a child with, with this Queen of Coins and this Princess of Coins. This could be like a, a parent and a child. King, oh, and the King of Coins, yeah. This person's sneaking off to, this is plain as day. Um, I'm just gonna leave this reading here, but someone's sneaking off to like either someone they were committed to or someone is sneaking off and getting married. I don't fucking know. Or someone who they have a child with or someone's going to make some type of offer of stability to someone else here. This is someone who you guys like, I don't know if this is your ex or like who this is, but this person's going to reconcile with this queen of pentacles and they're coming in as this king of pentacles page of pentacles they're coming in to offer something of stability i don't know if this person's completely legally separated though yet is this person still legally tied yeah ten of cups on the bottom someone they share a family with this person's like i don't know if you're an ex or a current or what you are but what is this person oh my gosh hair in my face is this person currently separated or divorced i should say this looks like a divorce temperance i feel like someone may be waiting for that nine of wands but they they feel something here princess of cups they want to like apologize it ends they want to like change something transform something i feel like they've been very patient and they feel like they're starting to like have some type of insecurities or feel like like time is running out or feel like something is giving up what is this nine of wands it, yeah they feel stuck waiting on some type of an ending what's temperance Uh, this person is no longer confused about other options, Ten of Swords. Or this person is uh, letting go of their options, Queen of Wands. We had the King of Wands. Someone here may have fire and earth in their chart. I don't know. Someone here is taking action towards someone who's very patient, balanced. Someone who's no longer confused. The Hanging Woman, Pisces, Scorpio energy is here. Scorpio is twice. Someone feels stuck waiting on something to end or transform. They, someone wants to express their emotions here. I don't know. I don't necessarily see too much like love out here. Pisces, Aquarius. Someone wants to like heal a situation they've been watching somebody in secret have some type of new beginning someone here is feeling bored and discontent over some type of an ending a burdensome a hit very burdensome ending someone's been going back and forth and they're feeling heartbroken about a family or a third party i don't know okay libra i'm gonna leave this reading here if it resonates let me know if you guys want personal info it's in the description box below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace